Hello, Vantage family, and welcome to Tuesday's workout of the day. Let's dive into the whiteboard session. Today, we're gonna give you guys something special. Now, for the at-home program, you guys are not confined to the same 45 minutes that the gym is. So we're gonna give you something special. Some days, like yesterday, it'll be a skill strength piece. Some days, like today, it'll be an endurance piece. Now, let's dive into your endurance piece. Today is going to be two rounds of an 800 meter run. So you're gonna run as hard as you can for 800 meters. From there, you're gonna rest 90 seconds and then you're going to repeat that 800 meter loop. Now, 90 seconds isn't a full time to recover from that 800 meters. What we wanna do is we wanna to start to let the body rest, let the heart rate come down, not fully recover and then push the pace and try to repeat. All right. We want to try to get that second round to be as close to that first time as we can. Might be a little bit over, might be a little bit under, might be right around the same range. That's what we're looking for. Okay, An intense yet consistent pace. Now what we're looking for time domain wise is less than four minutes worth of work. Now if you know that you can get this 800 meters in less than four minutes, outstanding. Go for it. If you're not quite sure, maybe give it a go. Okay, especially just one round. See how it goes for that first, uh, that first four minutes of that first 800 meters. Now, if you blow that number out of the water, maybe we scale it back and go maybe 600 meters instead of that 800. If you come in right around that time, but you're not quite sure if you can handle it, that's okay. Talk to your coach, find out what they recommend for you to do for this endurance piece. Now, let's dive into the workout of the day. Now, again, we've got two different options for you. We've got equipment and we have no equipment. The equipment workout is going to be 400 meter run followed by 21 pull-ups. Then we're going to head back out on that 400 meter run. We're going to come in and we're going to do 15 pull-ups. We're going to finish with a 400 meter run and end with nine pull-ups. From there, call it time, grab a nice drink of water, hang out and enjoy. The time domain we're looking for is eight to 14 minutes. Okay. So I know this looks like a big gap, but it all depends on how well you run and how well you do pull-ups. Some of us, we're gonna be shooting for that mm, sub two minutes on that 400 meter run. When we're doing it, I want you to keep a nice consistent pace, something especially on the first round where you can come in and you can do a little bit of work, okay? We're not setting land speed records when it comes to that first 400. We're doing something nice and consistent. When you finish the run, you're gonna be able to walk right to that pull-up bar and you're gonna get right to work. Your 21 pull-ups, how best can you get through that number? Is it one set? Outstanding. Is it two sets? Maybe it's a big set and a, and a smaller set, like a set of 14 and a set of seven. Maybe you need to chop it up into smaller sets. That's totally cool too. Think thirds, All right? From there, we're gonna head out on that second 400 meters. On this, I want you to take that first 200 meters and kind of get your lungs, your heart rate to start to settle and then start picking up the pace on that back 200 meters, okay? So that second 200 meters, you're coming back to the door, whew, deep breath, walk your way right over to the pull-up bar, and we're gonna jump into a set of 15 pull-ups. Again, it might be two sets, maybe like 10 and five, nine and six, maybe it's broken up into thirds, sets of five, but from here, you're gonna head out the door and you're gonna do that final 400 meters. Now this is your last one, so I want you heading out the door quicker than you did on the second round, and I want you coming back in the door, maybe just a little bit quicker than you did the second one. From there, we've got nine pull-ups and we're done. Is this one set for you? Maybe you've saved a little bit so that you can get that last set consecutive instead of breaking it up. Or again, maybe you have to break it up into smaller sets. Whatever strategy you need to implement, do so so that you end with a high quality movement. Okay? We don't want you guys falling apart we don't want you guys kind of crumbling and breaking it down into singles. We want you to have a nice, beautiful, high quality of movement. Now, if you have not been doing pull-ups and this is your first dive back into the pull-up bar, I want you to be smart about it, okay? Be smart about how you break up, well, one, your total volume. Two, how do you break up the pull-ups so that you can still train well on Wednesday, okay? It's only the second day of the week, ladies and gentlemen. We wanna make sure that we're being able to train throughout the entire week, okay? Now, breaking up your pull-ups. We said big set, small set. We said you can break it up in maybe halves or thirds. A great strategy might be to find a descending rep scheme where you do medium set, little bit smaller, 
and then something nice and tiny at the end. And then you can have, okay, cool, I've got enough energy, I can keep a high quality movement, and then I can head right into that next exercise, in this case, running, fresh or fresher. Okay, so the same thing. Pretty decent sized set, medium sized set, and then a small set. And then that way you can just attack and keep moving forward, limiting the amount of rest that you have in between your set or in between your sets of pull-ups. Okay? So again, total time is we're looking for eight to fourteen minutes. Now, our no equipment option. You guys have a little bit more to do, so your time domain is going to extend just a little bit more. Okay? We're still going to be running our 400 meters, but then we are going to go into body rows and plank ups. Not or, and plank ups. Okay? The body rows, especially if we're doing it at home with, say, a broom handle and chairs, we're not going to get the exact same stimulus as if we're doing pull ups. So we want to add a little bit more and make sure that we are getting a complete upper body workout when it comes to this, okay? So we're gonna give you guys a nice little demo video of some of the movements we're gonna do and see in both the warm up as well as the workout. If you have any kind of injury or kind of ailment that's kind of been nagging you over the last little bit, make sure you talk to your coach on True Coach. They will help you find a great substitution for any one of these movements, whether it's lower body or upper body. All right, everybody, looking forward to seeing your scores online. Get after it.